I bought three iPhone motherboards off AliExpress and, well, let's just say things didn't go exactly as planned. It all started back in January 2023. I was just casually scrolling through AliExpress when, boom, I stumble upon an iPhone 12 Pro motherboard. Not just any motherboard, though. 256 gigabytes of storage and working face ID, all for the insane price of $131. I couldn't believe my eyes. But it gets better. I stacked a few coupon codes and got the price down to $100. $117 before tax. And mind you, this was only two years after the iPhone 12 Pro launched. Naturally, I thought, I'm going to build my own iPhone 12 Pro from scratch. Spoiler, this is where things start to fall apart. The big mistake. Being the genius that I am, or so I thought, I didn't buy just one of these motherboards. No, no, I bought two. Why? Because, you know, who can pass up a good deal, right? I was glued to the tracking info. Then one day, I noticed something odd. One of the packages was already in the mainland US and suddenly it made a detour to Hawaii. I thought, uh, maybe USPS just messed up like they've done before. It'll bounce back. Then it showed as delivered in Kailua, Hawaii in some random parcel locker. The other one delivered to some mailbox in Massachusetts. At that point, I knew I'd been had. Thankfully, AliExpress customer service came through. They quickly confirmed the scam and refunded me. Fast forward to March. I wasn't ready to give up on my dream of building an iPhone. This time, I found another iPhone 12 Pro motherboard, but this one was pricier. $238 with 128 gigabytes of storage and working face unlock. I figured higher price is better odds of actually receiving it, right? I used another coupon, gotta love those, and knocked $43 off, bringing it to $195. I hit buy and the wait began again. Success, kinda. This time the package arrived. It was well packed in a foam box and the motherboard seemed legit. So I put the iPhone together, powered it up, and everything worked. 128 gigabytes of space, face unlock functional. It was awesome. But then things started getting weird. Weird. The weird issues begin. First off, the battery drained like crazy. I'm talking, leave it for three hours and it's completely dead from 100% to 0%. I blamed it on the cheap battery I bought, that's on me. But then, the bigger issue. I couldn't update the phone. No matter what I did, it wouldn't install the latest iOS. After weeks of frustration, I finally plugged it into iTunes and attempted the update that way. It took several tries, but eventually it worked. Here's where my paranoia kicks in. After the update, the battery suddenly improved. Now, I'm not saying it's definitive, but I suspect there was some sort of malware or spyware on the motherboard that was draining the battery and preventing updates. Once I wiped it clean with iTunes, things seemed normal again. So, what's the verdict? While I finally have a functional iPhone 12 Pro, the idea that there might have been malware on it still lingers in the back of my mind. Can I ever fully trust this phone? Probably not. Moral of the story. If you're going to build a phone from parts off AliExpress, be ready for anything. You might save some cash, but the risks? They're very real. That's my AliExpress iPhone adventure. What do you guys think? Would you ever try building a phone from scratch like this? Or is it just too risky? Let me know in the comments.